Hello and welcome to the PPD YouTube channel, folks. Happy Friday. It's Clyde here from Pixel Pro Displays. We hope you have had a fantastic week this week. And it is Friday. It's a Twinkle Tip Friday. And boy, do we have a good one for you guys. If you map your sequences, if you package sequences, all of this is slightly changed and it may affect you if you don't know about what we're going to talk about today. Stay tuned, we'll get right to it. <laughs> Welcome back folks, Clyde Lindsay again. If you, if you like the videos that we put out here and the content that we do, please give us a huge thumbs up in the, uh, on the like button below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss any of the content that we put out. It is the beginning of August and if many of you stay on the cutting edge of x lights maybe you've updated to 2024.13. That's the most recent version of x lights Now, x lights does a lot of enhancements and it's done by individual developers and the developers have put out a few changes over the past few uh, years that have made things look a little different to some of us. So what do I mean? I'll show you. So here's what I mean. If you go in and you open up your x light sequences and you look at your saved sequences, if you've created a new sequence, you'll see that you have an icon that has a little nutcracker. And these are called program x lights type files. But the file extension is actually called the XSQ file. The XSQ file is native only for x lights But they made this change a couple years ago. And what it allowed you to do was it allowed you to double click on a sequence file and open up your X lights. And it generally would open up into that X lights or try to open up into that X lights directory that you were using at the time. And it would open the sequence. And so therefore you didn't have to go in and open X lights first and then go through the X lights file open menu over here. The old way that we used to do, years and years ago, we had these files called XML files. These are our old sequence files. These are really the original X lights sequence files. You can see some of them listed here. And they, 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 they're, they're a text file. So the developers have made these small changes over the years. Now the most recent version of X lights, we've seen yet another change to how we're used to seeing some files. So for a number of years, at least seven, maybe eight years, XLice has been using what's called a zip file to package the sequence whenever it is being prepared to be shared with other people. You're familiar with everything being nice and neat as a zip file when you download or you share a sequence from one person to another. But things as of 2024.13, the most recent version of x lights have completely changed this. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's something you should be aware of. Now, I know this is a rather long lead up to what's going on, but we do have a new file extension. We also have this new zip file format. And I want to show you why this might be confusing to you guys because things are going to be a little bit different in your folders. So it becomes more important for you to pay attention to your file structures. So uh, here I have an open sequence. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of minimize the screen a little bit. And I'm going to come over here to my folder. This happens to be the folder for this song. This sequence here is the actual sequence you see opened up behind me on the screen. And uh, and, and you see your XSQ file, which is XLights deems as a file type program XLights, or that's what Windows reads it as. Even though it doesn't say the file extension, it shows it as a program XLights file. Now, I also want you to notice that there is something in your folder that will help you identify the difference between these two files because they're both going to say program XLights. And 
if you look at a zip folder, generally whenever you take a zip folder, you're taking the file size and you're zipping it down. You're making it a smaller file size. So it's making it easier for you to transport or it takes up less room on your disk. So keep in mind that the difference between these two files is going to be the file size. Now we're going to show you how to do a zip file. So let's say you're sharing this sequence here with somebody else. The best thing to do whenever you're sharing a sequence with somebody is to put your layout into a mode where it's all on one screen. I have multiple screens around me and it's important that I put all of the little boxes here, all the color boxes and everything in one screen. So I, ha I usually use my laptop setting and my uh, usually have this docked, this little preview docked here. And once it's docked, everything's on one screen, then what I'll do is I'll hit the save button. I make sure I render too. I'm not sure that you need to render, but I always render it too. But And then I go to tools, I hit package sequence, and then in the, the zip file to create box here, this dialog that comes up, it shows you you have different file types that it saves as. It saves as a .zip or .xsqz. It's going to save as an XSQZ, but we'll go ahead and click save. And now this should show up. And there you can see it just popped up over there on the left hand side. And we'll go ahead and look at that. And look, this is why it's going to be a bit confusing as whenever you sort your files that are in your file structure, if they have the exact same name, if the package sequence is the exact same name as your zip file then you might have a sorting issue. When we go ahead and click sort by type, file type, which I usually do, now you have two different files here. And remember we talked about file size before. Well, the difference is going to be a file size. So you're gonna have to know which sequence is what because things are about to get even more strange. X lights now allows you to go in and open this folder. So let me go in and I'm going to change my directory. I'm going to permanently change my directory. I'm going to go to a different folder. I'm going to go to the moving head uh, Halloween layout that I do sequencing on. Here we go. And, and you can see here's our Halloween layout. Nothing crazy. But I'm going to close X lights now. And the reason why is because if I come over here and I open up and I double click on the zip folder, which doesn't look like a zip folder, it looks like an X Lite sequence. If I double click on it, it's going to open up X Lights over on the other screen here. Give it a second. There we go. And what X Lights does is this opens it up, opens up the zip file into a layout file as long as you have the mp3. Now the mp3 is on my hard drive. It knows where to look for it. If you didn't download the mp3, you, it may prompt you for a little box that says where uh, please link the audio. It, it would look, uh, the box would be like this. It would say, uh, it would ask you for a media file. But in my case, it's on my computer so it knows where to look. But you can see that it opens up the sequence here. I'll go ahead and click done. And you can see we can render it and play the sequence. That's not a problem. But the important thing is, I don't think we can save it. There is a limit to saving a zip file. Um, let's go ahead and hit the save button. Sequences cannot be saved in read-only mode. So here's the challenge. You're going to need to be very, very aware of which is your zip file versus which is your sequence file. So I recommend, I highly recommend, going over here to your layout and having a package sequence or a download folder like I when I package sequences I have a package sequence folder you don't need to maybe you need to have a download folder and that's the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is your downloaded files so what happens if you're in X lights and you have a download folder. Put, you put your sequences in your download folder. Well, you're used to these, as we talked about before. This is the original zip file. And you're not used to seeing this new zip file. Notice that the file sizes are identical. They look the exact same. And But the difference is, is Microsoft Windows, and I'm not sure how this is going to look on Mac, so you'll, you'll have to bear with me. But the, the changes here is Windows doesn't know what X lights XSQZs are. They don't, it, it has no clue. So there's something that we can do 
let's say let's say you want to take this sequence you download a sequence or it's shared with you and you want to change it back to an original zip file something that you're familiar with something that's not going to get easily confused well what you can do is you can see we have two different versions of the sequence here I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one and I'm gonna make a copy of this I'm going to right click copy and I'm going to right click paste and it just made a copy of it using a copy dash copy now if you are on an earlier version of X lights X lights isn't going to recognize this if you're on 2024 dot 12 11 10 9 8 you're going to need to update for X lights to understand what's going on here however if you don't want to update or you don't update this is how you can go through changing your file types generally what we used to do was we used to come in here right click and we'd rename our file and we come over here to the end I'll just erase the word copy and I'm gonna type dot Z I P that is the file extension for a zip file which you saw me delete just a few moments ago I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter now here's the problem it didn't change the file type and so what I learned was I thought it was Windows 10 because yes I'm still using Windows 10 uh, not planning to update anytime soon I tried it I actually tried it on my laptop Windows 11 and it wouldn't let me do it on Windows 11 either but I had to learn something new and I'm gonna share that with you so that if you have this problem it will help you let's go in and search on Windows I'm gonna type file uh, file options and you have file explorer options and once it pops up this little box okay so it opened up over here on the other screen and what I want to do is I want to go to the view tab this is general and this is view go to the view tab and click hide uh, uncheck the box that says hide extensions for known file types and then click the apply button so what you just saw happen right there in that second was now we can see the file extension off of the actual downloaded package sequence that is listed as a program X lights file so what we can do is we can come over here and we can right click and rename and you can change this from XSQ I'll delete the XSQ off of it and leave it as a zip and now Windows is uh, flagging me it's saying are you if you change the file name extension the file might become unusable are you sure you want to make this change so I click yes and poof we are back to our normal standard zip file now is it different to sequence to import the sequence well let's go ahead and try it so if I go in and I create a new sequence oh, oh we're in read-only mode I forgot about that sorry let's go ahead and file close sequence we'll discard all the changes and let's go back in and make sure we're in the proper layout see we're temporarily in the layout for that XSQ Z file that we used earlier so I'm gonna close X lights doesn't look like I can make any changes there I'm just gonna open up another version of X lights here there we go and so now we're back in oh we need to go back to our, our zip folder here we'll go back to our zip folder click OK there we go we're back into our our directory here our show folder and we will go in and create a new sequence musical sequence I'll go look for the music it is this song right here click open 20 frames per second and quick start now we showed you that you can double click on the package sequence it opens it up but it's a it's a read only you can only watch it or look at it um, so now we're creating the sequence and we're going to import from the the new zip file and I will go ahead and do import import effects and we'll go to uh, it's on my desktop here desktop and download and here is the new file now this new file is the XSQ it's X lights is actually looking for different file types that you can and can, that you can import from but for this purposes we're going to use the zip file we'll go ahead and click open now this is rather easy because you have the mapping the mapping here I'm mapping from my work layout to 
uh, the store layout. No, no big deal. They're the exact same thing. I can click the auto map button here and I can click OK. And as you can see, I mapped from the XSQZ file into the new sequence. It's the exact same old process. It's the same process for mapping. But if you don't like or you can't register that XSQZ file that you're going to start seeing soon, then by all means you can come into Windows and you can change the view so that you can edit it to change it to physically a zip file. Well guys, I hope this video was a little bit helpful and informative. I know that the developers uh, do, the, do their darndest to, to make the software the easiest as possible. Sometimes when there are big changes, this is a big change to me because this affects pretty much 80% of the community, 90 or 100% of the community, especially the ones that do things like x lights around the world because you're, you're downloading a sequence that somebody else shared and you're importing and it, it's going to get confusing. So you have a couple new things that you need to learn and it's not that complicated but just a couple things that you really need to be careful and look out for guys that's everything for me here at pixel pro displays remember every week we do a new twinkle tip friday video so hit the like button hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications down below so that you never miss one of our twinkle tip friday videos we just ended our christmas in july sale if you missed it i'm so sorry we sent out thousands of pixels with our affiliate easy rgb they did a fantastic job a number of people already got the pixels and we have a number of new club members huge thank you all to the folks that did join up during this time it's our biggest push during the entire year we never do a sale like that ever again so whenever you see a ppd sale you need to jump on it right away we don't linger with a bunch of sales our sequences, everything that we do here at PPD is member focused. And if you appreciate the content that we do, then by all means, we hope that you'll stay and become or join the PPD Sequence Club. Folks, that's everything for me. I will talk to you again in the next video. Take care and goodbye for now.